Welcome back friends and family. I am so happy that you are joining me today. I hope that this video gives you some good insight in what you can do in Hawaii. So my husband and I did visit the Kona region of Hawaii. We actually did tour a lot of the island and we were able to stay with my in-laws at the Sea Cliff Resort. And we had a condo with two beds, two baths, and that overlooked the ocean. And it was absolutely amazing the sea cliff resort does have obviously ocean front views they have two pools that you can use along with a hot tub and it just was so amazing listening to the ocean and seeing the different views so this is the first day that we are in Kona and I did go with my in-laws, um, Joe and Denise are their names, and they took me out for breakfast because my husband had to work, unfortunately. Um, most of the mornings that we were in Hawaii, we visited the more touristic parts of Kona, which they have this really long strip with a bunch of restaurants and foodie places. Our first restaurant was the Fish Hopper and it overlooked the little bay area there and it was just it was honestly surreal like looking up in the sun being in the sunlight and just having just good food so I had some gluten-free toast with sausage and rice after we got done eating we did go back to the hotel where we just kind of relaxed by the pool area and kind of explored the resort and it was nice to just kind of have the morning and afternoon to kind of get acclimated to Hawaii and to also just kind of get in the mindset of vacation Nate here is taking his call by the ocean not a bad Bad work view for him which was really nice so this is the afternoon and Nate and I had ordered some Costco just for some goodies to snack on at the resort that we just kind of got with our little trolley there and then all of my family is going to be going to this restaurant called The View and it does live up to its name because it does have quite the view. So this restaurant was absolutely amazing. I was still getting used to the fact that they don't really have like windows or things like that because the weather over there is just so perfect. So it's just all kind of open spaces and the sun was setting, which was absolutely stunning. Um, we were able to eat some really tasty food and see some of the nighttime scuba diving that was going on. Hey, we're gonna go to the Black Sea Beach. Mm -hmm. Black Sand Beach, what do you think? I'm so excited. You're so excited? I'm yeah, excited too. World famous. Woo! It only happens in volcanic areas. Yeah, so pretty stoked. This was our first day leaving the Kona area and as you can see, as you will see in this video, Hawaii has both white and black sand beaches just because it is a volcanic area. So after driving about an hour, we did arrive to the black sand beach and it was so breathtaking and also kind of a surreal experience just being on a beach, but the sand is black. It's not like white sand at this beach. It was cool to see all the different families and tourists that were visiting Hawaii and it was fun to just kind of spend some time to look at the sites and just see all the little tide pools as well there. Um, two tips that I would have for you if you are going to Hawaii is to get some sand shoes, especially if you're going to a more volcanic island such as the one that we were at the big island and also these little mats that we had they were like tan and blue that you can just get at target those were really helpful when we were by the beach because they just kind of stay in place and we kind of just set up camp and enjoy the views
So looking at the very clear tide pools that this beach had was absolutely a cool experience because of all the little critters you would find in it, which brings me to Timmy the turtle. Here is Timmy the turtle. He is a sea turtle. Um, Hawaii does a really good job of protecting these turtles. Usually you'll find like little cones around them so that they aren't bothered by the tourists. Obviously Timmy is an exception because I was kind of bothering him by taking photos, but he was sleeping and I think he was okay with it. Anyway, and they also had a little gift shop area at the beach as well. It was now time to make our way back to Kona and we did stop at this little site. This is a place in the island where the lava flow had gone down and just made like all these like rocks and stuff. So it was pretty cool to see the aftermath of a volcanic eruption. This is the following day and this is probably our fullest day on the island. We did a full like 13 hour tour of the entire island, including the volcano that is on the island. It is an active one. So the first place that we stopped was this coffee farm in Kona and it was beautiful. Like I've never been on a coffee farm before and this was absolutely eye opening to see all the work and dedication that these farmers have on their farm. Our tour guide's name was Drew and he was absolutely amazing as a tour guide. Like I am not joking, but this was like the best tour I've ever been on. He gave us so many historical and cultural facts about the island and about the different locations that we stopped at. And he also gave us a lot of insight. Obviously we're here at the coffee farm, but how the, the history of the coffee farm and just how the farmers harvest and dry out their coffee beans. We got to go into the coffee farm's little shop here and it was so cute and quaint. They gave out free samples of the Kona coffee that they grew on the farm. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but my husband and mother-in-law said it was very, very smooth and tasteful. So we then got back in the bus and then went to this Panalu's bakery and it was really, really tasteful. I'm gluten-free, so there was a lot of things that I couldn't eat, but if you aren't, there's a lot of options for you. I ended up getting this like coconut ice cream, which was very, very tasteful. So we all got to try something at the bakery and it was a really cool stop. We then went back to the bus and went to the black sand beach. All right, babe. Who's not here today? Timmy is not here. Timmy the what? Timmy the turtle. Timmy the turtle. Was he just sleeping yesterday? It seems like he was just sleeping and I was wrong. You were wrong. Yeah. He, he did not die. Yeah, Nate was he, right. Yeah. No, Timmy. Woohoo! Yeah, Timmy the turtle. Timmy, we miss you. Yeah. Wherever you are. Hope you catch a lot of fish. Yeah, amen. Although Timmy was free and swimming in the ocean, he did have some friends that were sunbathing on the beach. So they had a couple of turtles that we were able to see and take pictures and videos of, which was pretty cool. Next, we drove up to Hawaii's Volcano National Park, which was absolutely a highlight of this trip. So what you're seeing here is what's called like steam vents. And so this is caused by water that seeps down into the earth that's actually getting heated up by the magma, which causes the steam effect. And it is pretty cool to see the steam come up from the ground like that. Next, we got to explore the summit of Kalau. Now, this volcano is active. As you can see, some of the steam that's rising up. In July of 2018, a massive eruption on the east rift zone of Kilauea, not sure if I'm saying that right, relieved magma pressure under Hel Helema Aluma, <laughs> causing the crater to collapse and expanded from about 280 feet deep and went about oh, one and a half miles wide. So it puts into perspective how powerful this volcano is when it erupts. We also were standing next to some pretty huge rocks that were like larger than my husband that got spit up during the volcano's eruption. So 
yeah, pretty powerful. Next we went to the Thorsten lava tube, which is basically a passage underground where lava flows and then it transports good quantities of lava long distances. So when the supply of lava stops at the end of an eruption, it gets diverted elsewhere and it leaves behind an empty cave, which is what we're standing in here. So it's pretty cool to see just this huge passageway that the lava used to flow out of. So that was a really cool experience as well. Next we did stop at a place where the lava had actually erupted and flown down and now it has hardened and it was pretty cool to see just how this rock cools off and hardens. Yeah, this is a really cool experience. So after that we actually went out to dinner and we came back later at the evening to see the other side of the volcano and this is where you can actually see the magma which was so cool like this video does not do it justice but it is like was literally bubbling up and it was it was so cool like i honestly do not have an adjective to describe how cool that was so this is the next morning nate and i did kind of chill just because we did have a pretty full day the day before and so we kind of just chilled by the pool i did some devos and we went swimming a little bit and just kind of lounged around which was lovely Once we were done chilling, we decided to go snorkeling at Kalaloo's Bay. So they didn't have snorkeling gear you could rent at the bay. So we went to Boss Frogs in Kona and that actually rents snorkeling gear. And so this man who either owns the store or was working there, he knows literally what size you are just by looking at you. So he was able to give us each some little flippers and some snorkel gear that we could use at the bay there to just kind of look at the coral reefs. And it was, it was pretty cool. This was my first time snorkeling along with my father-in-law, Joe. And so once we got our gear, we headed back to the bay, it got kind of set up and looked at the ocean life. And it was, this was another huge highlight. It was so fun. So these underwater scenes are stock videos. I did not take them myself, but I wanted to give you guys just a little glimpse of what that was like. And again, it doesn't really fully depict, but we saw so many colorful fish. After we got done snorkeling, we went back to the hotel, got kind of dolled up for the evening to have some dinner at Kona Inn restaurant. And so this was a beautiful restaurant that had just a really historical presence in Kona. They also had on display a lot of the largest catches that they've caught of the different types of fish along with beautiful ambiance. I ended up getting a salad with some coconut shrimp and then my husband ended up getting, I think it was mahi-mahi fish with rice and vegetables. Very, very good. The following day we went to Kilakakua Bay. It's actually right next to Captain Cook's monument in Captain Cook. And so we were gonna try out a new bay to snorkel in. This location has what's called a two-step. It's actually made from the rocks, but you can go, it's like two steps down into the water. So me and my in-laws went snorkeling again. And guys, this was such an amazing experience just to see the aquatic life and the fish and the coral reefs and just all of that amazing creation it was just so awesome so we went in there and had a blast what was the coolest thing you saw um i liked the long one i don't know the name of it yeah it was like it was long super tube long yeah yellow. we'll look it up when we get home yeah maybe we'll put it right here what it is <laughs> so ah, that was wonderful what do you like it I like there's a big blue fish. It was huge and it was like rainbow colors and it was so it was it was pretty magnificent. It was wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful time. I feel refreshed. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. Uh, so long workout. It is a long workout. And a leg workout. Yep. But what I like more than being in the ocean and seeing fish is being there with Oh man, I love you. I love you. <laughs> After snorkeling, we did go to Ali's Gardens Marketplace, and this is what I would best describe as like a Hawaiian outdoor outlet kind of setup. They had all these different shops and places that you could see. They had little food shops and tea, outfits, just artwork. It was like so cool to just see the different shops here.
After we got done shopping, we went back to the hotel and cleaned up and watched the sunset, which their sunsets here are just gorgeous. One of the top restaurants that we went to that was one of my favorite was Jackie Ray's Ohana Grill. And this was such a delightful meal. So I got coconut crusted mahi-mahi. My husband got mutton machiko mahi mahi and then we ended it with key lime pie and coconut mint gelato and so it was so scrumptious and delicious highly recommend it so this is the final day in kona nate and i and my in-laws all packed up our stuff and checked out of our hotel and now we're just going to be going to the different shops in the downtown strip in kona which was really really fun So my in-laws actually went on an earlier flight that me and my husband did. So we pretty much had the whole day to enjoy Hawaii. We went to the Kama Kukona, a National Historic Landmark that was there. And then we also just went to the Kama Kukona Beach, which was a white sand beach, which was really luxurious. And probably one of the best things that me and my husband did was we went to get massages at the Malamo Pono Massage Spa, and it was luxurious and wonderful. Honestly, the best massage I've ever gotten in my life. And so highly recommend it if you're looking for something relaxing to do at a place that's professional and therapeutic. After our massages, we walked out floating on a cloud and we went to Hugo's on the Rocks. And this is a restaurant that overlooks the bay. And so again, Hawaii and their views is just stunning. It's like a win-win. Everywhere you look, it's just absolutely beautiful. So Nate and I got some nachos, I got a salad, and my husband got a burger, and it was scrumptious and delicious. Then Nate and I proceeded to get some dessert at Gypsy Gelato, which is a handmade gelato store in Kona, and it was absolutely scrumptious. I ended up getting the garden mint, and the mint was actually made from a local uh, mint farm in Kona. And then also farro is what they called the second one, which had macadamia and hazelnut in it, and it was absolutely delicious. So at this point, Nate and I were just kind of chilling and hanging out and enjoying Hawaii before our flight so we ended up walking a short distance to see this beach volleyball tournament going on which was so fun to watch. Um, Nate and I ended up watching the sunset at this tournament and again it just is like it is like none other the sunsets here in Hawaii. So we stayed here and had some shaved ice and then we got on our flight to end our trip here but I hope you guys were inspired by this Hawaii vlog. I hope that you got some insight and if you're planning on going to Hawaii that it gave some ideas of what you can do too. If you found this enjoyable and inspiring, I hope that you will hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. Aloha!